welcome family to a new episode of Read, Remember, Repeat. And we kicking this show off, showing some love to Iron Mastery Academy. Shout out Doc Spills and Christopher Terry. They're teaching people how to learn and earn on the go and manage their own finances. It's as simple as matching colors and you can grow your account. This is needed for the community and definitely for the culture. I said, surround your mind with greatness. Some of it will rub off. This is my office. This is where I start my day. And every day I read something. Form a habit of reading every day. It's about Proctor. My goal. And like, I love what you're doing as far as the read, remember, repeat, because that's imperative, man. And always, 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 family, remember this. Read, remember, and repeat. Phenomenal Tuesday, family. Fantastic Tuesday. Grand Rising to you. It's your host with the most, Michael Boyd. We hit it with another read, remember, repeat episode. Now, what we are, the book that we are on is Strength Finder 2.0 by Tom Raff. Um, I didn't read part one, but 2.0 is what I got. And um, this book so far is saucy. So if we come across one, we'll read one. And that way you can just go back, listen to one and listen to two. But I think two has its own message in it. It's more about action. This is an action book. So without further ado, let me jump right into it. Analyzing millions of strengths. The new assessment website and development guide. Analyzing millions of strength finders interviews has allowed us to refine the assessment into an even faster and more precise second version. We've also been working to glean more advanced insights from the hundreds of items we collect as you take the assessment. Even though the 34 themes helps us describe a great deal of the variation in human talent, they do not capture many nuances of unique personality. While you and a few friends may have each learner among your top five themes, the fine points of those talents and how they are expressed vary a great deal from person to person. One of you may learn from reading several books each month, while someone else learns primarily from doing, and yet another learns from an insatiable curiosity and Googles everything. To help you think about your own talents at a more specific and individualized level, we have added more than 5,000 strengths, insights, and strength finder 2.0. Based on unique combinations of your individual item, responses during the assessment, these insights will give you an in-depth analysis of how each of your top five themes plays out in your life. Unlike the shared theme descriptions from strength finder 1.0, which are the same for everyone, and descriptions in your strength finder 2.0 report will be customized to describe your personality. To create these highly tailored theme descriptions, we compare all of your responses on these 5,000 plus strengths insights to our massive database and then build your theme descriptions based on what makes you stand out the most. Unlike your top five themes of talent, which are likely to overlap with people you know and serve an important purpose and providing a common language, the strengths insights are all about what makes you unique. Once you have completed the Strength Finder 2.0 assessment, you will receive a comprehensive strength discovery and action planning guide that includes your top five theme report built around the new strength insight descriptions, 50 ideas for action, 10 for each of your top five themes based on thousands of best suggestions, best practice suggestions we reviewed. A strengths discovery interview that helps you think about how your experience, skills, and knowledge can help you build strengths. A strength-based action plan for setting specific goals for building and applying your strengths in the next week, month, and year. You also will find these resources on the new website. An online option for customizing your strengths-based action plan. A strengths discussion forum. A tool for creating customized display cards of your top five themes. A strength screensaver with rotating descriptions and quotes for all 34 themes that you can download. A quick reference guide to strength basics and overview and detailed summary of Gallup's research on strength based development and the technical underpinnings of the Strength Finder 2.0 assessment. An overview of each of the 34 themes, including brief and full descriptions. A team strength grid for mapping the talents of those around you. 
a guide for strengths-based discussion in organizations, a guide for strengths-based discussions at home. Parting thoughts. Our natural talents and passions, the things we truly love to do, last for a lifetime, but all too often our talents go untapped. Mark Twain once described the man who died and met St. Peter at the pearly gates. Knowing that St. Peter was very wise, the man asked a question that he had wondered about throughout life. He said, St. Peter, I have been interested in military history for many years. Who was the greatest general of all time? St. Peter quickly responded, oh, that's a simple question. It's that man right over there. You must be mistaken, responded the man, now very perplexed. I knew that man on earth and he was just a common laborer. That's right, my friend, assured St. Peter. He would have been the greatest general of all time if he had been a general. The story illustrates a truth that is unfortunately all too common. Far too many people spend a lifetime headed in the wrong direction. They go not only from the cradle to the cubicle, but when, but then to the casket without uncovering their greatest talents and potential. This is why it's essential not only to discover and develop your strengths as early as possible, but also to help the people around you build on their natural talents. Whether you're helping a good friend realize that she is a natural at coming up with new ideas, supporting a colleague as he looks for a better fit for his talents at work, or helping a young person understand that her natural competitiveness, competitiveness could be a lifelong asset instead of a hindrance. These actions will start to change the world around you. Every human being has talents that are just waiting to be uncovered. Taking Strength Finder 2.0. To help you build on your talents and the talents of the people around you, take the Strength Finder 2.0 assessment now. Log on to www.strengthsfinder.com. You will need the unique access code in the packet in the back of this book to take the assessment. It will take about 30 minutes. After you have completed the assessment, read part two, applying your strengths. For each of the 34 themes, this section presents the standard theme description. Examples of what the theme sounds like, ideas for action, and tips on how to work with others who have strong talents in that theme. Remember that the purpose of Strength Finder 2.0 is not to anoint you with strengths. It simply helps you find the areas where you have the greatest potential to develop. Family is source time. We're on part two, applying your strengths, right? And uh, as soon as we're done with this, we'll be right back. And here's the word, lifestyle. Learning to live well, because the ultimate essence of life is not a Ferrari. The ultimate essence is not a home. The ultimate essence is not a bank account. It's not a million dollars. It's not a fortune. Here it is. The ultimate essence of life is learning to live a good life. And here's the word, lifestyle. Learning to live well, because the ultimate essence of life is not a Ferrari. The ultimate essence is not a home. The ultimate essence is not a bank account. It's not a million dollars. It's not a fortune. Here it is. The ultimate essence of life is learning to live a good life. That's the key. And we are back, family. We are on part two, applying your strengths. You know what I mean? And um, the 34 themes and ideas for action. Right? 34 themes. That sounds like something. 34 themes. We got achiever, activator, adaptability, analytical, arranger, belief, command, communication, competition, connectedness, consistency, context, deliberative, developer, discipline, empathy, focus, futuristic, harmony, ideation, includer, individualization, input, intellection, learner, maximizer, positivity, relater, responsible, restorative, self-assurance, significance, strategic, and woo. Achiever. Your achiever theme helps explain your drive. Achiever describes the constant need for achievement. You feel as if every day starts at zero. 
By the end of the day, you must achieve something tangible in order to feel good about yourself. And by every day, you mean every single day. Work days, week ends, vacations. No matter how much you may feel you deserve a day of rest, if the day passes without some of achievement, no matter how small, you will feel dissatisfied. You have an internal fire burning inside you. It pushes you to do more, to achieve more. After each accomplishment is reached, the fire dwindles for a moment, but very soon it rekindles itself, forcing you toward the next accomplishment. Your relentless need for achievement might not be logical. It might not even be focused, but it will always be with you. As an achiever, you must learn to live with the whisper of discontent. It does have its benefits. It brings you the energy you need to work long hours without burning out. It is the joke you can always count on to get you started on a new task, new challenges. It is the power supply that causes you to set the pace and define the levels of productivity for your work group. It is the theme that keeps you moving. Achiever sounds like this. Melanie K. E. R. Nurse. I have to rack up points every day to feel successful. Today I've been here only in half hour, but I've probably racked up 30 points already. I ordered equipment for the ER. I had equipment repaired. I had a meeting with my change, my charge nurse, and I brainstormed with my secretary about improving our computerized logbook. So on my list of 90 things, I have 30 done already. I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. Ted as salesman. Last year, I was salesperson of the year. Out of my company, 300 salespeople it felt good for a day, but sure enough, later that week, it was as if it never happened. I was back at zero again. Sometimes I wish I wasn't an achiever because it can lead me away from a balanced life and toward obsession. I used to think I could change myself, but now I know I am just wired this way. This theme is truly a double-edged sword. It helps me achieve my goals, but on the other hand, I wish I could just turn it off and on at will. But hey, I can't. I can manage it and avoid work obsession by focusing on achieving in all parts of my life, not just work. Sarah L. Ryder. This theme is a weird one. First, it's good because you live in a pursuit of the perpetual challenge, but in the second place, you never feel as though you've reached your goal. It can keep you running uphill at 70 miles an hour for your whole life. You never rest because there's always more to do, but on balance, I think I would rather have it than that, than not. I call it my divine relentlessness. And if it makes me feel as if I owe the present everything I have, then so be it, I can live with that. Ideas for action. Select jobs that allow you to have the leeway to work as hard as you want and in which you are encouraged to measure your own productivity. You will feel, un you will feel challenged and alive in these environments. As an achiever, you relish the feeling of being busy Yet you also need to know when you are done. Attach timelines and measurement to goals so that efforts leads to defined progress and tangible outcomes. Remember to build celebration and recognition into your life. Achievers tend to move on to the next challenge without acknowledging their successes. Counter this impulse by creating regular opportunities to enjoy your progress and accomplishment. Your drive for action might cause you to find meetings a bit boring. If that's the case, appeal to your achiever talents by learning the objectives of each meeting ahead of time and by taking notes about progress toward those objectives during the meeting. You can help ensure that meetings are productive and efficient. Continue your education by attaining certifications in your area of specialty. In addition to attending conferences and other programs, this will give you even more goals to achieve and will push, you ex push your existing boundaries of accomplishment. You do not require much motivation from others. Take advantage of your self-motivation by setting challenging goals. Set a more demanding goal every time you finish a project. Partner with other hard workers. Share your goals with them so they can help you get more done. Count personal achievement in your scoring system. This will help you direct your achiever talents toward family and friends as well as toward work. More work excites you the prospect of what lies ahead is infinitely more motivating than what has been completed launch initiatives and new projects 
Your seemingly endless reserve of energy will create enthusiasm and momentum. Make sure that in your eagerness to do more at work, you do not skimp on quality. Create measurable outcome standards to quantity that increased productivity is matched by enhanced quality. Working with others who have achieved it. Establish a relationship with the person by working alongside him. Working hard together is often a bonding experience for him. He's annoyed by slackers. Recognize that this person likes to be busy. Sitting in meetings is likely to be very boring for him. So only invite him to meetings where you really need him and he can be fully engaged. If he doesn't need to be at the meeting, let him get his work done instead. This person may well need less sleep and get up earlier than others. Look at him when these conditions are required on the job. Also, ask him questions such as, how late did you have to work to get this done? Or when did you come in this morning? He will appreciate this kind of attention. Family, that's our time. Read, remember, repeat. Make sure y'all tap into the night show. And um, Strength Finder 2.0 is, 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 is deep.